everybody and welcome to the Until Dawn wrap up. We have celebratory cupcakes that we finished the game. And so you get to see me eat a celebratory cupcake that has red frosting. Because, anyways, so this game, I don't know, I had a problem with it until right now because I didn't want to go back and play the entire game again. Well, I do, I do enjoy the game. However, I did not want to play the entire thing over and over and over again to explore different choices that could have, you know, had effect. So now I can go back and save Sam while saving Josh in the end of the game. Save Sam? Yeah, when she was being chased by Josh. Mm. So, and that, and then that I can keep everybody alive. Well, that's my biggest uh, goal. Oh my gosh. What? Hi. Yeah, you you're looking you're looking pretty blue. I suppose I should probably take a big old bite. All right. So I don't know. What do you think? I thought it was a really great game. I'm obviously not a game critic. Well, neither am I. You're more qualified than I am. <laughs> not really. I um, thought a lot more games should be made like this, like the choice game and like. Yeah how it was laid out it was just really suspenseful and i thought it was oh. superb <laughs> it's just a mess so yeah the thing that really separates this game from any triple a horror game that i've ever played is this one was actually horror mm -hmm. it wasn't a linear storyline that was spoiled for you by the media before you even got the game Good. so yeah, it's based on your choices. And it doesn't really matter how good you are at gaming. It's still going to take you quite a while to get to the end. Mm-hmm. And there's such some good scares in it. At, at, at the beginning, I was like, oh, it's probably going to be all fake scares because of all, like, yeah, just it, the dropping down. It of, like, built suspense. Scares. It did. That's what it was. You were just expecting that now. And that's what it did really well in that it ex it made you expect something. And then it completely turned around. Like, the entire game, I thought, was about being trapped on a mountain with a murderer. Mm-hmm. Turned and, out to be much more than that. Yeah. And, you know, some people will say, oh, two monsters, that sh that's cheap. Well, no, it's, it's really not. And the reason being that you're fearing something, and it turns out to be fake, and you're comfortable. You're like, oh, well... Okay, well, I guess we're not really in danger anymore. Jess is dead. That sucks, but... Then all of a sudden, there's a real danger. Mm-hmm. There's something to be really scared of. And plus, like, I've, like obviously you can't please everybody, but um, there, it's just really nice having, like, just one or two monsters because you don't want there to be, like, a monster overload because then mm -hmm. you're like, am I expecting this or am I expecting... Like, sometimes that's good if you're into that kind of stuff, but most people aren't. It's just, you know, there was, there was enough to this game to keep you on your toes. I didn't feel like it got dry. Mm -mm. You know, normally in spots in this game where I would have said, well, it was kind of dry and stale, it was really suspenseful. Sometimes, it wasn't dry, but sometimes I just really wanted to pick up the pace because I really wanted to see what was happening mm -hmm. to somebody else. And that's a really, like, that'll yeah. keep you playing. Mm-hmm. The, um, uh, oh, jeez. The, um, the suspense really really moves the game along this game surprised me like i thought it was gonna be yeah when typical horror when jake was like hey come play a horror game with me i was like mm, i don't really know because like all the horror games i've seen aren't right scary they aren't like horror this it's a simplistic game from a not very it's it's not an obscure game company but it's not a big one everything was laid out so nicely too it was and everything connected beautifully. There weren't really many seams in the story. Everything kind of fell together. Little things bugged me. However, the level design was brilliant. The The fixed camera angle bugged me at first, but it played out really well in the end. Like, it served a purpose really well in the end. Um, the character design was brilliant. Yeah, it was. Um, and people complain, they're like, well, they were just cliche horror 
horror characters. This is a cliche horror game. The only thing is, this cliche horror game is better than the rest of them because this cliche horror game, you actually have a say in what happens. Like, people don't think... I remember playing um, Beyond Two Souls. I love that game. But it wasn't really so much a game as a narrative with choices and quick time events. That's not what this was. I mean, there were some spots where it was a little quick time heavy, uh, a little narrative heavy, but it all works. And I think I want more games like this. <laughs> I really do. As it is right now, I think this game probably gets like a nine and a half out of ten from me. I mean, that's higher than everywhere else rated it. But I think everywhere else was super critical of it because it's like, oh, it's yeah. just another cliche horror game. It's like, well, this was the best cliche horror game. Yeah, they didn't out really like them. deeper into it. No, they don't. And this game has so much replayability. I didn't pay sixty bucks to pay it one to play it once, and that's what bugs me about games. Is that I pay sixty bucks, I play it for a little while, and I'm like, okay, that's that's it. And like, it wouldn't be relevant. And if you could play it again, it was like they didn't give you choices. But since right. they give you choices, there's, there's so there's, much to explore. Yeah, there's so many ways that this game. And this holy game could go. shit, I missed so much. Like totems, clues, all that. I didn't piece all of that together. Yeah. So I can go through and look in all the nooks and crannies and not be scared of what's going on. Because I think that's really what stopped me from doing this. Because I just wanted to keep everybody safe. Mm -hmm. I will say though, I got Sam out alive. <laughs> and that was my goal from the beginning. I didn't care who else survived. Sam had to survive. Because God, I love Hayden Pinnitier. I almost didn't buy it. But you guys wanted it. Because I read the reviews on it. And people weren't impressed. Um, critics are buttholes. They are, and, you know, they're expecting something more from everything. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like this was super original, and they weren't, like, comfortable with it. Yeah. I think that's the idea. I mean, you gotta think what games are coming out this year. Black Ops 3 just came out. Guess what that's gonna be? A washed-up, spit-out version of an old Call of Duty game. And you know what? That game probably got rave reviews because it brought in a ton of money. You got... Um, Fallout 4 coming out. Well, it's the fourth installment of the same game, and I am buying it. However, <laughs> I better be impressed, because you can get really dry if you keep running it on for that long. However, Skyrim was a fifth game in that series, and it was really good. It's kind of like Fast and Furious. Oh, God, that just needs to stop. <laughs> Battlefront. I Battlefront, I bet, will be met with bad reviews. Because they're expecting something more. The thing about critics is, when they know what they're getting, their expectations are low, so they review things better. But when a game like this comes out out of the blue, and nobody's expecting something like this... They're super picky about nothing, yeah. I've noticed. They're, they're picky about it because they can be picky about it, and they should be picky about it, because it's brand new. It's a new concept mm -hmm. that really worked well. However, when you get something like Call of Duty that comes out every year... And it's just another turd in a pile of shit. How do you how do you rate that? So that's my thought. And like Madden, I bought Madden. I'm so stupid. I bought another Madden. I've got like ten Madden games now. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, Madden's honestly just the same thing. It is, and I really just wish they would let me download the new rosters. There's literally like nothing about it. Well, they added some like air superiority, like just. Now you're just button mashing to get the ball. Just like little updates. <laughs> yeah, it's... Not really anything to the plot, because there's nothing to change about football. No, they haven't even... I really just wish they would change the narrators. God, I hate the narrators. Um, but yeah, this game... Really glad I played it. Really glad I bought it. And you guys were right. Um, you guys were very right that I should buy this. Also, another great thing about that is that, like, if you make the wrong choice it's not the it's not really like the game that made the choice it's right. you and you're like oh i messed that up yeah it's that not anything about the game that is a it's very you. good point is that you feel responsible like mm -hmm. you watched me try to make decisions between killing Josh and Ashley yeah. and killing Ashley and Chris and every time somebody died i felt remorseful because it was my actions that made it happen mm -hmm. not the game so i wasn't mad at the game like so much it is mad at myself when um when josh died there wasn't really like we didn't really feel anything because mm. like there was something we could have done but that was way back 
Right. And I, it, I didn't I didn't know there was something I could have done. And it wasn't a choice that we could have made right then. Super massive, A+. Plus. Hopefully this game will make people realize that there's more to storytelling mm-hmm. that still needs to be told. Because storytelling is one thing that's fallen off from back in the day. Because I used to play games all the time with great stories. Yeah, I and rem- now it's focused on online play. I remember hearing stuff about like how great the games used to be like yeah. with, with, the cho- with the choice making. And then now they've just watered it down a lot. Yeah. Everything's so focused on online that nobody cares about the story anymore. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you related. Or, we sure or, did. We definitely did. I hope you agree with what I say. And if you don't, let me know below. Um, you're A lot of you are probably going to get really mad about what I said about Call of Duty. But and no regrets. That. Anyways, thank you all so much. Thanks, um, Supermassive. I keep wanting to call him Deep Silver. I don't know why. Um, A+. Plus. A+. Plus. Great game. Really glad I bought it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.